Day 15 Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Purpose To obtain knowledge of yourself, prayers, examinations, reflection, acts of renouncement of our own will, of contrition for our sins, of contempt of self, all performed at the feet of Mary, for it is from her that we hope for light to know ourselves. It is near her that we shall be able to measure the abyss of our miseries without despairing. We should employ all our pious actions in asking for a knowledge of ourselves and contrition of our sins, and we should do this in a spirit of piety. During this period, we shall consider not so much the opposition that exists between the spirit of Jesus and ours as the miserable and humiliating state to which our sins have reduced us. Moreover, the true devotion being an easy, short, sure and perfect way to arrive at that union with our Lord, which is Christ-like perfection, we shall enter seriously upon this way, strongly convinced of our misery and helplessness. But how to attain this without knowledge of ourselves? Readings Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. Repent or perish. There were some present at that very time who told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered thus? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. All those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. True Devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary Point 81 and 82 We need Mary in order to die to ourselves. Secondly, in order to empty ourselves of ourselves, we must die to ourselves daily. That is to say, we must renounce the operations of the powers of our soul and of the senses of our body. We must see as if we saw not, understand as if we understood not, and make use of the things of this world as if we made no use of them at all. This is what St. Paul calls dying daily. Quotidi morior, if the grain of corn falling on the earth does not die, it remains earth and brings forth no good fruit. Nisi granum frumenti cadens interum mortuum furet ipsum solum manet. If we die not to ourselves, and if our holiest devotions do not incline us to this necessary and useful death, we shall bring forth no fruit worthy of anything, and our devotions will become useless. All our justices will be stained by self-love and our own will, and this will cause God 
to hold in abomination the greatest sacrifices we can make and the best actions we can do, so that at our death we shall find our hands empty of virtues and of merits, and we shall not have one spark of pure love, which is only communicated to souls dead to themselves, souls whose life is hidden with Jesus Christ in God. We must choose, therefore, among all the devotions to the Blessed Virgin, the one which draws us most towards this death to ourselves, inasmuch as it will be the best and the most sanctifying. Presumptuous Devotees Point 99 and Point 100 I admit that to be truly devoted to Our Lady, it is not absolutely necessary to be so holy as to avoid all sin, although this is desirable, but at least it is necessary, note what I am going to say, 1. To be genuinely determined to avoid at least all mortal sin which outrages the mother as well as the son. 2. To practice self-restraint in order to avoid sin. 3. To join her confraternities, say the rosary and other prayers, fast on Saturdays, and so on. Such means are surprisingly effective in converting even the hardened sinner. Should you be such a sinner, with one foot in the abyss, I advise you to do as I have said. But there is an essential condition. You must perform these good works solely to obtain from God, through the intercession of Our Lady, the grace to regret your sins, obtain pardon for them, and overcome your evil habits, and not to live complacently in the state of sin, disregarding the warning voice of conscience, the example of our Lord and the saints, and the teaching of the Holy Gospel. Prayers Veni Creator Spiritus Come, Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts unknown, thou finger of God's hand we own, thou promise of the Father. Thou who dost the tongue with power imbue, kindle our sense from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us, drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee, through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit, lest. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, with thou, O holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Maristella, hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother, blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name, break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, for all blessings, pray, show thyself a mother, 
May the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, all-excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Praise to God the Father, honour to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. Magnificat, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Litany of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceedest from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who art equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governest the Church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit, who fillest the Universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the Adoption, of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light into our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us 
with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of thy graces. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit may enlighten, inflame, and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee, in the unity of the same Spirit, liveth and reigneth for ever and ever. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary Litany of Loretto Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. 
health of the sick, pray for us, refuge of sinners, pray for us, solace of migrants, pray for us, comfort of the afflicted, pray for us, help of Christians, pray for us, queen of angels, pray for us, queen of patriarchs, pray for us, queen of prophets, pray for us, queen of apostles, pray for us, queen of martyrs, pray for us, queen of confessors, pray for us, queen of virgins, pray for us, queen of all saints, pray for us, queen conceived without original sin, pray for us, queen assumed into heaven, pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us, Queen of Families, pray for us, Queen of Peace, pray for us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow, and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen.